Previously, we created this chart, which is actually in the index page, and we have all the logic inside this index page. Well, it's a lot of code for an index page. What we would like to do is to externalize this chart into a component, and this is what we're going to do now. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new file called chart.view, and I'm going to initiate this component, which is the chart.view. Well, at the base of this chart, I'm going to um, just insert here my eye chart that I got here. So I'm just going to come back down here. I can just remove that and probably later I can wrap this chart. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you to see. And there we go. So now what I need to do is basically to come back to all this code and to integrate everything inside this chart. However, we would like to turn it into a component. So we will need to inject the data and probably inject. Remember, we have the tabs uh, at a certain point here. When we change the tabs, we would like this chart to change on the fly. OK, so what we need to do at first is to come back to the chart and to insert the data, the uh, uh, basic data that we need in order to this chart to work. OK, so at the top, I'm going to start with props. And here I'm going to use define props. And I'm going to pass current category. Remember, we had current category before. And after that, I'm going to pass the data. OK, once it's done, I'm going to come back here and to add here data as a props directly. However, I would like to put also an empty array in case I don't get the data. It's a security. Then I'm going to add my current category, which is exactly the same in here, current category. And by default, it's going to be today in this chart. So here I'm putting today, but if you want to use this chart for other usage, don't put today in here and probably don't use current category. Here the chart is really linked to the uh, business logic of uh, what I want to have on my own page. OK, so what I can do is just to come back in here. And remember, I got all these categories in here. So I'm going just to copy paste these categories. And from now on, they are going to be able only on my chart. So I can remove them here. I can remove the categories. I can also remove here um, basically the data. But we are going to come back on it after. OK, so let's come back in here. What I want to do also is to have the options. Remember, we need the options down here. So here, the option is basically going to be a computed property. So again, if you want to have different options that you can pass, you can go here on the top and pass your option as a prop. OK, me, I'm going to uh, just internalize everything. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to get all the options here simple and I'm going to inject them in here exactly as a um, here as a computed property. OK, so once it's done, remember what we want to do, we would like to generate the months, generate the months data, etc, etc. So here, remember, we've got different functions here and we've got generate months, which is here. I'm going to take it and bring it back in here. The function here, I'm going to trigger it directly inside my um, inside my chart component instead of here. So I can also remove it from here. Once it's done, remember, we trigger down here on the index um, the generation of the data. So I, you see, I didn't took generate random value because we would like data to be passed as a prop. And this is why we didn't remove data here on the line 17. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to use unmounted. And unmounted, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use generate months uh, uh, property. OK, so now we are here. Probably there's some stuff we would like to change. And let's come back to generate months and look down here. We can see that here we apply the categories here, categorize dot, categories dot value with the current months. Here we need to remove these values in here because it's going to be uh, basically here the ref that we got up here. And we need to pass the categories with the months this way. OK, so we're going to check that after if it's going to work. So I'm going to come back now in my index. And now that I removed everything down here, instead of having this, this eye chart, I'm going to call the chart itself. 
So what I can put here, I'm going just to call my chart. And remember here, the chart, it's coming directly from the routing system. I'm going to type, hey, just show the chart if V if data length is superior to zero in case I got, I got a, a, an error or a problem. And I'm going to pass the current category. So here I can pass it this way. So let me show you. You already know how to use props. However, with the new convention with view, you can definitely do this and it's going to work, okay? So me in this example, I'm going to let it like this. And I'm going to pass also the uh, data. All right, so I pass the chart and I pass the data. Now up here, what should I change? What should I do? So on the top, we've got the tabs that we are using. We have the loading list ref. I don't know why we got it in here, but it's okay. I'm going to take the data and in order here, it's going to be the data that is going to be the most important. Then we got the list, remember, and in this list, we got all the tabs that we are using. And then we have the current category. Okay, after that, we got the generate random value. And we've got also down here the set category. So I'm going to remove the comment in here. And here we created this function in the previous course. So if you want to understand, please come back to the previous course. Okay. Here we see that we inject um, as, a, as a random value the number of the days. So we got here uh, 24 hours, sorry. Here seven days, 31 months, which is uh, probably um, totally good because we have 30 days or 31 days. And here for the year, we got all the months or all the number um, of the days. If you want to, you can display the months or whatever. So here I'm just putting this in here. Okay, down here, we don't need the generate months anymore. And we don't need this comment also. And the random value that we want to generate, it's today. Remember, it's today, the first value. So I'm going to put 24. And we should be good. We should have the chart that is going to be generated automatically with just this set of data. And when we come back to the chart, it's working like a charm. If I switch here, we can see that I switch between the week, today, and the months. It's pretty good. Now let's give a bit of design to this chart because it doesn't look really nice. Like we would like to have it like a card. So I'm going to come back in here and I'm just going to simply add a border, a P4, and it's going to be rounded LG. So here the chart is going to be adapted as a card here. Later we can come back to the legends here and to turn them into a gray light or something like this. But now we understand that we have this card where we can switch everything. We are done with the charts for now.